Don't remember your face I was born into a very musical family. My father is a piano technician, and because of that, music has always been a really large part of my life. I was lucky enough to be in music programs in and outside of school at a young age, so it really gave me that opportunity to explore that creativity. I started out playing the piano and singing, and a couple years later I picked up the guitar. A few years passed by, and then by the end of my senior year of high school, the band that I was guitarist and vocalist for won the Denver Battle of the Bands. So this was a major reinforcement to me uh, in the fact that I really wanted music to be a big part of my life. I went into college for film and kept music as a hobby. I wanted to study film production because it was something I always wanted to pursue in high school but never really had the chance to. However, throughout my years at college, music kept coming back as a very prominent figure in my life. Now, I had listened to electronic music before, but never really had gotten into it until I got into college. Until my first year, when a friend came up to me and he asked me, Hey, have you heard of dubstep? I said, I didn't know, I don't know that band. No, it's not a band, it's a genre. I said, okay, no, show it to me. And when I listened to dubstep for the first time, something just clicked. And in my mind, I knew, I wanted to make it. I wanted to produce electronic music. And from that moment on, my interest in electronic music just exploded. So I took as many music tech classes as possible in efforts to try and hone my skills in those areas. And I learned quite a bit, and I'm eager to learn quite a bit more. I recently graduated from Elon University, and now I'm living here in Los Angeles. And now I want to turn my music into a career. I want to be a musician that gives back to its listeners. I don't want to sell my music. I think that music itself should always be free. A thousand years ago, people weren't playing musical instruments to sell the music. They were playing the instruments for the pleasure of themselves and the pleasure of the listeners. And that is something that I would really like to bring back into modern electronic music. Now don't get me wrong, I believe that artists should be paid, but there are other, other avenues that uh, artists can take in order to make revenue. One can play live shows, sell merchandise, physical copies of music if people so desire to buy it. Uh, there's just so many other ways that people can make money through music that without selling individual songs. I would like to try and blur the lines between symphonies and electronic music as well. I believe that electronic music has the ability to tell a story just as much as a symphony does, but it's not really being explored too much. I've always had this vision of a full orchestra with this pillar in the middle. And the pillar would have LED screens uh, and lasers and lights and fog machines coming out the sides of it. And on top of this pillar would be a DJ. And the DJ would be playing electronic music that the orchestra would be playing along to. And that's just a, uh, something I would really like to turn into a reality. many people who are applying for this scholarship, music is my passion. And I would like to turn that passion into something more than just a hobby. I would like to turn it into a career. Nothing would make me more happy than to have music be my life. I want to be better at what I love to do. I want to produce at a higher quality and I want to be more efficient with my time. An icon could really help me achieve this. Through their help and expertise, I could hone my skills and watch my dreams come true. My name is Elliot Luke, and I am your ideal candidate for the Icon Scholarship. Thank you very much for your time today, and don't forget to vote.